Hey guys, this is the Studio Harris here for a quick tutorial. Uh, for this, we're going to be doing cell rendering. Uh, in fact, no, I think it's called cell renderer. <coughs> it's a uh, it's a uh, part of Cinema 4D which you're able to use, and uh, I'll give you a quick example now. Don't laugh. I did this in uh, 2010, so it's a while back. And um, basically, what it is, you can see you'll have two files. One will be the block text. So what you see here, the actual normal text if you like, which is, you can see in the T and the O here, and then it sort of uh, fades out, this is what we'll do in Photoshop, and fades out into these sort of lines if you like, and you can really see the uh, what the text is sort of made up of, or the infrastructure of the text, rather than it being filled in with a colour like, uh, like on these two letters. Uh, so yeah, to do this we'll need both Cinema 4D and Photoshop. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, I've got my text here, Studio Harris. I've got my colour, well, material. Uh, I've also got some lighting. So I've, I've got my whole setup ready, if you like. Uh, you want to go over to your render settings, which is where all, all of this cell rendering's at. And uh, obviously put your normal output, 128720. I'm just going to do current frame because it's going to be an image. Um, save it as tutorial obviously you do whatever right because I'm doing an image I'm gonna do PNG and you guys might want to click alpha channel what this basically does is um uh, how to explain uh, as you see now when you put it in Photoshop you'll have the text obviously but then you'll have this big black uh, background which you may you know have to use magic wand tool to get rid of for example but once you have alpha ticked then it will get rid of this black background as long as it's a PNG it will uh, get rid of this black background and when you put it into Photoshop you'll just have the text on its own which is you know what, what you want really but for me it doesn't really matter because I'm going to use a white background in Photoshop anyway um, I've, I've got the ambient occlusion just for the improved shadows I suppose which doesn't really matter seeing as though I'm using the alpha channel sorry it's very confusing but that's all a bit irrelevant but to actually the thing, we, the thing we're going to be using is under effects down here and it's called cell renderer but just leave that for now uh, just make sure this is alright to start with yeah right so once you've just got your whole setup ready literally this first one you just want to render it and you'll have the block text as it is, like that. Then go back into it and then maybe tweak the name a bit so you get uh, two files. Yeah, we're going to need two files here. And, uh, and then add the cell renderer effect. Uh, background colour will be uh, the this colour here. So you see behind the purple lines I've got that white filled in. So for that I'm going to keep it white again. And for the edge colour, I'm going to go for a purple look, same as my example. And I'm going to tick edges as well. Basically the difference between clicking edges and not. This is without edges where you get obviously just the outline of the text. And then with edges ticked, you get the whole inside of the text as well. So once you've done that, is that purple distinctive enough? I don't know, but once you've done that, render it out anyway. <laughs> now you should have two files for me, tutorial and tutorial one. So you want to go into your Photoshop now. And again, I just did file nil. I'm going to need the size to load. I did file nil, then obviously the usual one to 8720. And uh, I did a white background again. So you want to go to your documents or wherever you save the images. And put them each one at a time. I would anyway. In fact, I don't know why I added them one at a time. But you want your block text to be over the top. You might want to lock your cell renderer one for now so that you don't affect it when you do this. Go to your eraser tool. Sorry. 
with your eraser tool and you're going to want to rub out any of the block text like so I quite like that actually and by doing this you can see that tutorial 2 being the image behind tutorial 1 so the cell render is the layer below the uh, block text by rubbing out some of the block text the uh, it brings out the layer underneath so this is basically how I did it um, again thanks for watching obviously you'd make it a bit more fancy <laughs> but it is really a uh, really basic uh, thanks for watching subscribe if you're not already thanks